Hello guys and uh, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to install and set up Thunderbird Mail. Uh, Thunderbird Mail is an open source email client. Um, I've been using it for a while and uh, it's very flexible as, as far as how many um, plugins and extensions are available to it and uh, it works very well with uh, Gmail and all the, ma uh, the major um, mail provider so the first thing we're going to do we're going to open Internet Explorer or uh, any other browser that you might be using and uh, I'm going to do a search for Thunderbird download I'm going to press enter and I'm going to go into uh, the first result which is Thunderbird official site and I'm going to click on uh, free download By the way, I have already downloaded, so uh, I'm going to uh, cancel it and I'm going to go into my downloads directory. And uh, this is the second version, which I don't need, I'm going to delete it. So I'm going to double click on the executable. And uh, I'm going to wait until the setup wizard start. I'm going to pause for a second. Next, when prompted with the user account control, I'm going to click yes. And uh, we got the installation wizard. So I'm going to click next. I'm going to leave it as standard installation. I'm going to click next. Also, I'm going to accept the default installation path. I'm going to click install. And I'm going to pass one more time. And finally, I'm going to click finish. Okay, so the first time you, you run uh, Thunderbird, after you install it, you will be prompted with this dialog box, which uh, uh, is asking you uh, for uh, whether you want to set up uh, Thunderbird as the default mail client in your operating system. So I'm going to click set as default. Um, by default, it's, uh, email is checked, uh, also feed is checked. So I'm going to click set as default. And uh, next, I'm going to click uh, skip this and use my existing email. And I'm going to enter my name. And I'm going to also enter my email, so I'm going to say And I'm going to finally enter my password Now I'm going to click continue At this point, Thunderbird is communicating with, um, with Gmail, uh, Google services and um, next you need to uh, choose whether you want IMAP <coughs> or POP3 I advise you to leave it as IMAP which is the default uh, this one uh, will leave a, uh, the original folders and email on the, on the server uh, and download a copy to your local hard drive POP3 uh, would keep all your emails on the hard drive so I'm going to click done Next, I'm going to authenticate with uh, Gmail server. So I'm going to enter my email account. I'm going to click next. I'm going to enter my password. I'm going to click next. And finally, allow. And that is it. Um, from now on, uh, Thunderbird Mail Client would start downloading all your folders and email locally into your computer. And so that's it for this tutorial. I hope uh, the tutorial was helpful and as always remember to subscribe and uh, thanks for watching.